What's up, YouTube? This boy, she the well, I go go back up in here like a bono, and I'm like, what's poppin' though? What's poppin' though? What's what's poppin' though? What's what's poppin' though? Welcome to the channel. What's poppin'? So uh, today we're back with some Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Nuzlocke, um, and legit, I let you guys choose my starter, and you guys did a tremendous job doing that. So if you guys are excited, make sure you sting the hell out of that like button. Representing the Beedrill Swarm, uh, we are the hive, we are the army. So let's show some Beedrill support. Um, smash the hell out of that like button for 100 likes. Um, and without further ado, let's get a drum roll, please. No. All right, fuck it. Um, but legit, you guys voted, and you guys had a numerous amount of votes. Like, I can honestly say I seen Mudkip so many times, I seen Trico so many times, I seen Torchic so many times, and I was just like, Jesus Christ! The amount of times people have voted for these Pokemon and, and like the certain Pokemon itself, it was just like ridiculous. And I'm super hyped to be starting this Nuzlocke, and that you guys got to choose my starter. But, um. Coming in third place, which with very, very slim chances, was Mr. Trico. Like, Trico was lacking, you know, he was slacking, he was slacking, he was lacking. Like, uh, Trico wasn't, uh, like, a, a, a big vote, but you know what? He still made, a like, a, a big pile in the comment section. You guys really rocked it for Trico. So, all you guys represent Trico, give yourself a hand for doing a great job. Um, then we had Mr. Mud keeping your swamp coming up at r number two. He is the runner up. Um, legit, Mud Kip was everywhere, but for some reason, Torchic just dominated. Everybody was like, Get Torchic, I'm sick of this. Other, uh, I'm sick of you saying Mud Kip, I'm sick of seeing Trico. Everybody wanted the faithful Torchic, they wanted to see me use Torchic, and I'm like, They wanted Chicken Little in this bitch, so I gotta let you guys have it. I'm gonna go ahead and pick Torchic as my. Stutter, and we're gonna name him Natsu because he's awesome. Like Natsu, Dragonail. Oh my God, he's powerful, dude. So this is our first battle in our Nuzlocke. Uh, the Nuzlocke rules doesn't start until we actually get Pokeballs and obtain other Pokemon because you know I can't do shit unless I have other Pokemon, right? So the first going against the first gym is honestly gonna be a very tough one because we're going in there with a diff big type advantage and like we won't be able to do shit against it. So that's gonna be completely scary. Um, but. Let's destroy this Poochiana, because this Poochiana's in my way, like, he's just trying to sit there and be all toughsies and shit. So I'm like, yo, 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 hold this motherfucking ember, nigga. I blow fire from my mouth. What you gonna do about that? You can't do nothing about that. You gotta sit the fuck down. What's wrong with you, man? Uh, but legit, that was interesting. Alright. <clears throat> I went into the tall grass to survey wild Pokemon when I was suddenly jumped. You saved my hide. Thanks a lot. Huh? Oh, but you're Nomi's boy, Shino. I didn't real even realize who, who you were at first. You've grown into quite the young man. This isn't the place in place for chat, though. Come along to my lab. So, uh, we're about to head over to Professor Birch's lab to see what's poppin', though. We about to see what's up. Because uh, last time we was in that nigga house and his daughter was like giving me them sweet eyes. She was all googly and shit. So I was like, you poke ho, you better back up. No. No means no. Stranger danger. So! Shino, I've heard so much about you from your father, but he said that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. If that's true, that was quite the performance back there. Looks like you really are your father's son. Oh yes, to say thanks for rescuing me out, of, out there, how about I give you that Pokemon you used earlier? Oh shit, yo bitch, look at how I'm doing you. We got a Torchic. Torchic, I want a week ago. No, okay, sorry. Um, While you're at it, why not naming, nicknaming the Torchic? Let's nickname it. Yup, that's the spirit. So what kind of name would you go with? Um, legit, I just said it, nigga. Not so. Not so. And not so. Uh, uh, Dragon Neil. But I'm not gonna put the full Dragon Neil. Be oh, it's a girl. Shit. It's a girl. Oh my god. I can't name it Not to now. I'm gonna name it Girl Not to. <laughs> Because it's a girl, and Natsu's a boy, so I have to make it clear that it's girl Natsu. I had a girl, a Pokemon named Girl Natsu. Um, the main reason I went with Girl Natsu is because, like, if you guys watch like my previous LPs, um, in one of my LPs, I think it was a uh, Moemon. I had a Torchic, and I, I think a Kabuskin, and I named it a uh, Girl Natsu. 
So yeah, that's the main reason behind that nickname. Um, you know, if you work with your Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a pretty excellent trainer. My girl may happens to be on Route 103, now surveying Pokemon for me. It might not be a bad idea for you to head out that way. What do you think? Uh, sure, why not? I don't see the problem. I mean, we need the experience because we're about to get ready to dive in the world of Nuzlocke. Oh shit, I'm about to be scared. Oh, great! I'm sure May will be happy with to hear that. She can help teach you what it means to be a trainer. Oh yes, and if you ever, lo ever lost along the way, use the area nav on your poke nav plus oh shit we got the poke nav plus i feel like we got an iphone 6 plus up in this bitch they said the poke nav plus the iphone 6 plus poke nav plus huh i wonder if game freak did that on purpose um anyways you can use it to see how to get to route 103 where may ought to be huh and if you're you and your pokemon get tired get some rest back at your new house um i'll get tired like kevin gates say nigga what you mean i'll get tired what do you mean? I can't get tired. Uh, but no, let's 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 talk to everybody. Professor, Professor Rach will spend days on end in his lab researching something. Then he'll suddenly go out into the field and gather more data. When does he ever spend time at home? Uh, he just seems like a busybody, yo. Um, to think. All right. <clears throat> to think that you can get data from your friends by passing them. Your Nintendo 3DS is in sleep mode. The power of science is uh, staggering. Okay. <clears throat> Boy, am I glad there was an interpreted guy like you around to rescue the professor. Uh, okay. Shit. Well, is that a compliment or insult? I don't know. Fucking big ass words and shit. Uh, jumble words. But anyways, uh, this is gonna be our first Pokemon in a while, but it's not gonna be our because our first encounter because we don't have Pokeballs and we don't get the Nuzlocke rules do not apply until we get Pokeballs. Gotta catch a ball. So, I'm gonna need you, little homie, to hold that ember, though. That's sad. You can't even hold ember. You know what? We haven't even checked the nature and, like, all that on our girl Natsu. We definitely need to see what that's rocking with. Like, see what that's about. You know, just to see how it's gonna be. But girl Natsu hit level 6. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, let's go and check, like, natures and moves and shit. So, let's get out this fucking grass. Alright, so, we're gonna check out our girl Natsu. Not too, not too. All right, so, all right, it's a defensive nature. Um, special attack lowered. That's why he sucks with that move. But all right, he's blaze. Girl, not too. Level six. Scratch. Growl. Ember. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's go look at his actual nature. Oh, he's impish. So that means he'll eat up. He'll eat up hits. Like it won't. Like hits won't affect him as bad. I'm glad it didn't like lower his physical attack because you know Blaziken is known for his physical attack and his speed. So the additive of a defensive nature makes it a little bit easier to rest now that I know I can take hits throughout this LP. Like it won't be even one of those times where I get like hit super hard and like completely die. You know what I mean? So that's something to look forward to. Uh, but legit, Girl Natsu is gonna be like one of those Pokemon that we're gonna need to to pull the team together. Cause I haven't decided what my team's gonna look like yet, but it's gonna just go off of first encounter up until you know I get to like multiple routes and then I can switch things up because like honestly in, in this game in the beginning section of it like a lot of Pokemon are the same so yeah we're gonna have to try to find some Pokemon and switch it up because there, I feel like there's gonna be a dupes, dupes clause implemented somewhere in there but um yeah let's go ahead and head upward up oh, welcome to Odell Town we just hit it in Odell Town Hi there, I work at the Pokemart. From what I can see, you're a novice trainer. Am I right? Okay, being super kind-hearted as I am, I'm going to give you a useful advice. Ho <laughs> ho! Alrighty. For all that's a Pokemart! First of all, that's a Pokemart. There, just look at our blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. Ho, oh, snaggy, I like that. I'd like you to have these as a part of our special promotion. So that boy just gave us some potions though. Yes, yes, yes. That's that's cool. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Because now my Pokemon when they get injured, I can heal them. And I won't have to run to the Pokemon every single fucking minute. Thanks. You're a pal, you know that? Potions can be used anytime. So that can very be very useful. Um <clears throat> and this is a Pokemon Center. Look at the red roof. I like how I said and before the text popped up. It's like I knew what he was gonna say. Not really. Um, ask a woman inside and she'll restore your Pokemon's health. That is it. That's what the advice from me, the super, the supremely kind-hearted clerk. Have a great journey. 
okay this nigga was like super chipper for no damn reason i do not know why but you know what i ain't tripping and everybody likes pop pie um uh, anyways so we gotta go head up to route 103 we gotta find miss may but uh before we head over there let's see like if there's anything to offer in this town um like you know just talking to the people and seeing what everybody has to say <clears throat> when a pokemon starts battle starts the one at the top left or wait what Try searching around the art of your Pokemon. Alright, situation. Yeah, yeah, I know that, bitch. Like, it gonna say a few things that's probably uh, decent for rookie trainers that, like, don't battle. You know, I want to take a rest to save my progress. Yeah, they're saying things like shit you need to, like, know in the beginning of the game because, like, not everybody knows, like, the common rules of Pokemon. Like, honestly. Um, see what you gotta say. Pokemon grow strongly by battling and level up. Uh, what do you have to say, little guy? The stronger your Pokemon become, the farther you'll be able to travel. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, Pokemon help pave the way, you know. The more work you put in, the more shit you can do with your Pokemon. So, let's go ahead and route 103. But I'm gonna, like, battle in the tall grass a little bit. I don't wanna just go over there and battle main to get Swamp, because then she's gonna fucking destroy me, and I'm gonna be like, Oblivion Wing! No! I'm gonna be like this. Nah. Um, that'll be interesting, but... Well, I'll put you up here. I'm gonna need you to hold this ember, bro. I'm spitting bars at you like a heat more. I'm a pawn yard. You're Caesar. Uh, was that backwards? I don't know. You're a pawn yard. I'm a Caesar. I think that's what he said. Anyways, ember to the dome, bitch. That was a crit. Nice and unnecessary crit. Uh, we just bodied a poor Pucciana. Pucciana just falls over. Like, he just be like, look at it. You ever seen when it dies? It just, like, falls over. On, his two legs just go up. And it just be like, like, he's about to take a piss on a tree or something. But it's actually getting killed. So, that's pretty funny. Um, legit, that's something hilarious you just can't get over. Alright, so we have a zigzagoon, 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 zigzagoon. Uh, hold this motherfucker scratch, young boy. I like how, like, this man really runs back, like, Tortiki, like, runs over there, he scurries over there to hit, and then when he uses Scratch, and then he, like, comes back. I never really pay attention to the animations, but, like, they really have some funny-ass animations. Like, if you, like, watch Wi-Fi battles, um, you should see, like, the animations Scrap they do in battle. It's hilarious, yo. Alright, so we're level 7. I think we should be, like, you know, at appropriate level to get ready to take on May, but... Uh, it's scary because why did I go into my uh, my bag? I mean badge case. I should go into my fucking bag so I can grab this potion though. Oh, we got 11 of them things. That's a pretty odd number to give somebody. But I guess that's like how they sell them in increments of 11, right? Either that or increments of 10. I don't, I'm not sure. So we got to get ready to battle May. Um, I'm a little nervous because every time I battle May, I always get body. But yeah, let's get it. Um, little Poco, young thot, young thot, young thot. All right, all right. Let's see. On round 103, I found this Pokemon and this one. Oh, and this one too. Oh, oh hey, Shino. Uh, hi, how you doing? What's that? Oh, my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift, huh? Oh, well, then why don't you go ahead? Why don't, why don't we go ahead and have a po quick Pokemon battle? I'll give you a taste of what being a real trainer is really like. Um, girl, you don't understand. I've traveled the world far and wide with the power that's deep inside. He's Pokemon to understand. The power that's inside. Do, 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 do. May, you don't want this word. So legit, this is gonna leave with the butt kip, which is scary. Um, I know that we're safe from like physical hits because we have the defensive in a attribute, like the impossibility, not the impossibility, but nature. So that's still gonna be like decent. Um, it's just scary, you know, because Marsh Tom can be really bulk, can be a really bulky Pokemon. Like, look. All right, she's gonna follow a tackle. Um, hopefully she doesn't use her third move, which is probably Water Gun or Bubble, which is going to be very scary if she does, because then it might, like, obliterate me and send me back to the Netherlands, and I'm just like, scratch, 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 scratch. Alright, so she used Tango again. That's pretty decent. I didn't have to switch up. I could use Ember to be a dick, but I'm just scratching because I don't want Ember not to kill and she turn around and use Water Gun and I'll bubble it. I'm just, like, obliterated. So, yeah, that is something I do, you know, worry about. So let's go ahead and pretty much wrap this up. May you got body about a week ago. Sorry, bruh. Wow, that's great, Chino. You're really good. Um, I told you, bruh. I traveled all the regions. What you mean? Like, I've been doing this. I've been out here. I'm really out here, my nigga. Um, 
It was a good battle, thanks! Let me heal up both of our polarities real quick. Oh, what the hell? Is she like a walking nurse joy? Does she have like a walking defibrillator to make sure our Pokemon are restored? Because I just whoop your Pokemon ass, girl. Um, wow! I think I know why my dad has his eyes on you now. Huh, I mean, you just got that Pokemon and you already got that strong of a bond? I bet you could probably befriend any kind of Pokemon you meet. Oh, true? Phew, I guess I better head back to the Pokemon lab. This bitch just jumped over a ledge when she could have clearly walked around. That didn't make no sense, but alright. Um, uh, let's get ready to head back to the Pokemon Uh, we gotta go back to Little Root Town. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Over here! Let's hurry back to Little Root. Okay. So, we're about to get ready to head back to Little Root Town. I like how, like, you know, she, like, walks with you to a certain extent. Almost as if it was, like, uh, the instance with Iris. That's pretty dope. Oh, shit. I had to sneeze. I had to catch myself. Bless me, y'all. Oh, Shino, over here. Is that her or him? I don't know who's talking. So, I heard you beat May on your first try. That's amazing. may has been helping me rip my research for a long time, so she has a pretty long history as a trainer already. Hmm, I think that settles it. Shino, I ordered this Pokedex for my research, but I think you should take it. Alright, so we obtain our Pokedex, now we get ready to scan Pokemons and violate them while they walk in the grass and shit and be walking up and like, yeah, I see you, nigga. And they just gonna be looking at us like, help, please, somebody. Anyways, the Pokedex is a high-tech the high tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet and catch. My girl, May, takes hers with her everywhere she goes. Whenever she catches a rare Pokemon and records it its data, the Pokedex, why, she she comes to seek me. Okay, sweet, sweet. Uh, seek me out. I'm, at, I'm in, wait, I am in the field and show me. Okay, so why are you always in the field, nigga? You, you, you out here, nigga? You really out here, my nigga? You always in the field, like... I be in the field too, nigga. I just be holding down the drill. Nah, but anyways, um, the Pokemon and people you will meet and the great expanses of the nature that lies before you, oh, experience them both while you fill in your Pokedex. I love it if you and your, if your world seemed wider than ever. Though, I'd love it even more if you came back from time to time and show me what progress you've made. Huh, oh, I'm getting an itch to get out and uh, do field work again. Uh-oh, shit. <clears throat> Oh no! Oh no! Now you got a Pokedex too? That's great! Just like me! Then here, I'll give you something! Some Pokeballs! Uh oh, a Poco gave us Pokeballs. Obviously they're used for catching me. I'm not stupid. Duh. Jesus Christ. So we got our Pokeballs, we got our set of Pokeballs. If you, alright, yeah, yeah, I know if you catch Pokemon, you grow stronger and you get experience. So, uh, can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon I'm going to meet. Alright, let's do our best on our journeys. So, legit with that note we're gonna wrap up today's episode if you guys enjoyed make sure you smash the hell out of that like button and my name is Shino Ella go go peace and release don't forget to bring your guns I will blow your shit up if you guys didn't already make sure you answer the question of the day and until next time I'm out of here guys later